Hi, I'm Ben Jones, and welcome to Maker Guide Episode 5. In today's episode, we're going to be making a seamless, tileable texture. Tiling textures are great for texturing 3D models, whether they're for a game or a movie. Before we start photoshopping, we need to take some source photos to work from. You can take them yourself, or you can download them from a website like CG Textures. CG Textures has a great library of royalty-free images, and lots of them are already tileable. While searching or taking your own photos, here are a few tips to keep in mind. Look for surfaces without distinctive features. Take pictures straight on to minimize perspective. Look for flat, even lighting across the surface of the texture. Cloudy or overcast days are the best since the, since the sky acts as a giant softbox. Open your picture in Photoshop. This image has some unwanted perspective, which we need to correct. Duplicate the layer. Go to View, Rulers to show your rulers. Click and drag on the rulers to create some guides. Go to View, Snap to turn off snapping. This is helpful for fine-tuning the perspective in the image. Go to Edit, Transform, Distort. Grab the handles and distort the image to remove the perspective. Select the Marquee tool and hold Shift while dragging to make a square selection. Copy the selection and make a new document. Paste in your texture. Go to Filter, Other, Offset. Select Wrap Around and drag the horizontal and vertical sliders to move the seams to the center of the image. Copy a piece from your source image and paste it on top of the center of your new image. Merge the layer down. This effectively fixes the worst seam of the texture, but we still need to fix the rest of the seams. To do this, I like to use the patch tool. Make a small to medium sized selection over a seam and then drag to sample from another part of the image. Try to sample from areas without unique features. Also, avoid touching the edges of the image with your selection. You may need to use the offset filter again to reach hard to reach places. There may be some differences across the lighting of your texture. To even it out, duplicate your texture and desaturate it. Set the blending mode of the layer to luminosity. Go to Filter, Other, High Pass. Play with the slider to find a value that evens out the lighting without washing out all of the color from your image. And that's it. You have a tiling texture. If you liked this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them. Well, that about wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.